Здравствуйте! Вас приветствует канал SPBComp и сегодня я покажу, как настроить эмулятор RPCX3 для того, чтобы комфортно поиграть в Spider-Man 3 часть. Снимаю это видео по просьбе одного из подписчиков. Для этого понадобится нам хак сборка 0012 10948, ссылку на нее оставлю в описании, использовал следующие настройки. Если у вас центральный процессор Ryzen, то настраивается следующим образом. TSX инструкции не работают на Ryzen. Здесь ставится LOS. Я себе выставляю 2К разрешение, потому что игра не требовательна. Вот эта галочка ставится в обязательном порядке, чтобы избавиться от багов. Особенно начиная со второго уровня. Дойдем до конца. Владельца Ryzen здесь ставит галочку. 200-240 64 и включает вот 1, 2, 3, 4 штуки Apply Save Custom Configuration Если у вас не Ryzen тогда настраивается иначе Если работает ASX инструкции ставится сюда и отключается эта галочка и выключается на дефолт эти параметры. Здесь ставится 0. И это для того, у кого Intel. У меня Intel, я запущу на так. Делаем на весь экран. Вперед. myself a fine judge of talent boy and well you don't have much but look I'll work with you for the next few sets of enemies I want you to follow the instructions on your screen perform all the moves listed to move on The side of your screen there has the moves you need to perform in order to move on. So watch the list and do each of those moves.
Hey, that was a really nice try, but no. This time, do the moves I'm asking you so we can move on. Hey, you're getting the hang of this. That okay, now stop messing around. Go find out who is blowing up this building and save the day. I'll even open the door for you. Uh, you need to go up. Take care of those bombs. Just crawl up the wall and onto the... You need to be on the ceiling to deactivate these bombs. Oh, this icon here means that you can perform a web interaction. Hold down the web button to web this thing up. Experiment with web attacks and you might even find new ones. For instance, here you can spin guys around. Use the sprint button for extra speed. If I could pull down one of those pipes, I bet the water would douse the fire. Once you've jumped into the air, you can press the jump button again to double jump, otherwise known as breaking the laws of physics. Jump higher by holding down the jump button longer. Get it? Higher, longer. Hold it down long enough, and you can probably leap small buildings in a single bound. I mean, you're not quite as impressive as that other guy, are you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you have a lovely personality. Okay now, get ready. You're about to perform a heroic feat of agility and speed, but don't let it go to your head, okay? You do this stuff all the time. Gonna be a bumpy ride! 
Thanks for flying Air Spidey. Just another day in the life of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Lately, things have been going my way. I got the girl, and New York finally likes me. Not that there aren't problems. Like this new guy, Eddie Brock, at the Daily Bugle. He's really starting to get on my nerves. And Harry, my best friend, won't talk to me. On top of that, new gangs have moved in and they're dividing up the city. Still, it's nothing I can't handle. any big super villains around since Doc Ock. But I have this bad feeling like the sky is gonna fall or something. And soon. Pressing the swing button will shoot out a web line that you can swing from. Then hold down on the swing button to hold on to your web line. Now the trick with swinging is that you need something to swing from. That's right, you can't just swing from empty space, you're not that good yet. So make sure that there's a building or something nearby when you want to swing. Got it? Good. Hey, see that little marker on the screen? That sucker is letting you know about something you ought to be interested in and go towards, like now. That marker floating around lets you know there's something interesting at that spot. If you follow it, I guarantee you'll find something. You might not like it, but it's gonna be something. That marker floating around lets you know there's something interesting at that spot. If you follow it, I guarantee you'll find something. You might not like it, but it's gonna be something. That marker floating around lets you know there's something interesting at that spot. If you follow it, I guarantee you'll find something. You might not like it, but it's going to be something. You can use the left stick to aim your web line. If you want to go left, push left. You want to go right, well, you get the idea. Ну да ладно, все показал. Вот так это работает. Неплохо, на мой взгляд, эмулируется. Неплохой FPS в 2К разрешении. Спасибо вам за просмотр. Подписывайтесь на наш канал SPVComp. Ставьте лайки. Заходите на наш сайт spvcomp.com.